Hi, I'm Gina Shrek. Welcome to Getting Geeky. And today I have a special guest, Mindy Roddenberg, and we are talking boomerang. That's right. How can we schedule those posts on Facebook via email so photos show up? There is a reason you'll want to. Welcome to Getting Geeky with your host, Gina Shrek, and the occasional special guest, bringing tech tips and bite sized pieces. She's getting geeky, getting goofy, and yeah, getting random. Welcome to Getting Geeky. Welcome to a fun special edition of Getting Geeky, and this is to answer the big question I posted on our page yesterday about Mindy. You and I have had this problem, and Kristen. I mean, we keep saying, "How do we schedule posts on Hootsuite, which is the tool that we use, to Facebook to a Facebook page and have the photo show up?" Because that's been a dilemma we've had for a while, hasn't it? Right, it has. It's so convenient to use Hootsuite to schedule our tweets, but we also want to be able to schedule our Facebook posts and add pictures because we all know that the posts are so much better when you have pictures to share as well. Yeah, and and what we found is on Hootsuite, because somebody posted this on the page yesterday, they said, oh no, I use Hootsuite, and it does post pictures. It will post links, so if, you, if you're scheduling, and, and again, there are times you'll want to schedule, you might find some great content at 10 p.m., but you don't want to share it at 10 p.m., you want it to drop at 8 a.m. on your business page, so um, if you post a link, the link will open up on Hootsuite and post to Facebook with an open link so that you see a visual. But if you have a great photo and you're going to post your, um, you know, your Facebook post with a photo, it doesn't show up. It puts a little link and then there's just this post with a link for the photo and most people don't take the time. Right. It's not as exciting, especially yes. if you're in a hurry on your Blackberry, just flipping through, scrolling, seeing right. what are the updates. You're not going to take the time to click on that extra link. You need to see the photo right there. And, and that's what we found a solution for, excitingly so. It was very uh, exciting because we were talking about this in our meeting going, okay, there's got to be a way to schedule Facebook posts to our client pages so that all of them can drop at these times. And Mindy, you are a private investigator, so you <laughs> went digging and how, what did you find? I found a great application called Boomerang. And you install it on your Google Chrome, or it also works with Firefox, and it allows you to schedule an email to be sent later, which is exciting in and of itself, right. but you can also link it with Facebook, and you can literally schedule a post to drop at any time you wish in the future, and it also adds the photo that shows up immediately, no link clicking involved. I love it. I, I was so excited because, like you said, this is also helpful if you want to have a bunch of emails and you want them to go out at a specific time. Um, right. That's also. But here's here's the first step for most people. You first have to find out what is the email address for my business page on Facebook. Because exactly. most people don't even know that each business page on Facebook, each, and I believe this is true for your profile as well, but each, um, but typically when we send a, a post from our phone or we send a picture to Facebook, it automatically posts to your personal profile. But your business page has its own special email address. So to find out your secret email address, you just go to your Facebook page, click on upload a picture, so you click on the little photo link, and then it will say you want to upload the photo, and then under that it will say upload via email. Click on that link, upload via email, and it all of a sudden opens up a window that tells you what your page's email address is. Now what you do is you take that email address, enter it in your contacts, your email contacts as, I have mine as Gittin' Geeky Facebook page. So for each of our clients, we have their Facebook page now as a contact in our email. So then what do we do, Mindy? So then what you want to do is, I'll actually screen share with you right now. I think awesome. that would be easiest for everyone to actually see hands-on what to do here. It's I like know show that and tell helpful. right here. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's see here. And I have to say while you're bringing this up, it's funny because Mindy and I and Kristen, you know, our, our whole team, we all work virtually. We work from our homes. We have kids. We have lives. There's stuff going on. And so when people say, well, why don't, why are you scheduling tweets? Well, there are times that you just, you know, there's stuff going on. As moms, we juggle 50 million things. Mindy's usually feeding a baby and chasing a child at the same time as she's posting. 
Um, so, you know, if, if your schedule does not allow you to sit in front of your computer 24-7, this is what you want to do. So here's Penny's screen. The first step is go to boomeranggmail.com and all you do is click on this install boomerang and it's almost instant. It is. So it took mine like two seconds. It is and it will automatically show when you open up Google next time when you go to your Gmail account. So once you've installed boomerang from boomeranggmail.com then you go over to your email and what you can do here is down here so you can type in whatever message you want to write and then you can also uh, like you said Gina go to your Facebook email and have whatever your Facebook email address is and put it in now when you're typing I'm just gonna do test photo here's the new option right here so it actually is a boomerang right. and you click send later and what's really neat is that it gives you all these different options if you're not really picky about the time. But my OCD self, I love having that. <laughs> well, well I it. think, again, it's important to know what is the best drop times for your Facebook content. Typically, it's in the morning, later in the afternoon, and on weekends, you know, when people wake up and start scrolling through their Facebook. So you do exactly. want a specific so time. We are very strategic in the times that we choose to drop posts. So here, you can go in and select any of these options or you can go down here and actually click on a calendar and say that you want it to drop on Tuesday but then the time went off so you'll need to go back in and add if you want it to drop at 8 a.m. then you just key in 8 a.m. Right. And, and then this, you and what we found is this is helpful for example Kristen's on the East Coast if she's managing account on the West Coast you know, she has to be able to have that content drop in the morning, and yet she's already midway through her day. So these type of tools are really helpful. Mindy, is it true that you have to post only in the subject line your your text? That's true because it will not show up if you type it in the body of the, of your email. It will not show up. So what you want to be sure that you do, so we can click confirm here. Uh, well, we didn't enter a subpoena yet. So what you want to do, instead of test photo, you want to say whatever it is that you want to say. So if you're you're just um, doing a quick post of happy hour special today, so we just typed in happy hour special, and then whatever you want it to be, then right here is where your photo will automatically pop up from what you have linked on Facebook. Yeah, it will you all be in the subject line. So whatever you want it to say, type it in here and that way it will show and it shows in your post just like a regular post I know it seems a little weird at first and you're thinking there's no way this is going to work but it works beautifully and I jumped up and down on the couch I know. We, were okay. all, we were all cheering first time it happened <laughs> well and you want to make sure you're attaching the photo right not putting it in the body again like she was saying whatever's in the body of your email means nothing it's attach the photo Put your text in the subject line, schedule, and bam, magic happens. And once that's done, it is simple as that. It makes it so much easier. We are so enjoying using the uh, scheduling features that Hootsuite and TweetDeck allow, but we really wanted to be able to utilize that for Facebook as well. And this really transformed the way that we can service our clients. Yeah, it's great. Now, one last question. Is it just for Gmail? I have only used it with Gmail, I know, so I'm not too. sure. And, and I'm not positive. So if you are an Outlook user, you may want to set up a Gmail account just for this. Uh, but that's because another benefit of easy. Gmail is you could be anywhere. If you were in on, on vacation and happened to be using a laptop somewhere, someone you're vacationing with and saw something you needed to do for work, you could do it that simple with well, Gmail. Well, you know, and other people have asked, how do you load a picture from your um, iPad to your Facebook page. This is your answer right here. You want to set up a Gmail account, you have your magic secret email for your page, take a picture with your iPad, your phone, and then email it to your page. Boom. Done. Right, but I think what you shared earlier that is so important, Gina, is to make sure you add it to your contacts. Right. Because to be honest with you, when you first see what email they've created it's for you, weird. It is weird. I have yeah. no idea how they come up with it, <laughs> but it is really great to go ahead and add it to your contacts, and that's one less step that you have to do. It, right. it makes it a lot easier. 
Well, Mindy, you're a genius. We love you. And I'm excited. And I know right now, again, you're off and running, doing mom duties and work duties. So um, I know. I'm off to kindergarten pickup. So. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, thanks for getting thanks geeky for having with us. Me. Yeah, this is fun. And I know valuable information for everyone. So keep getting geeky.